Happy Little Tales Productions presents in association with Rainy Days Productions presents Okay, this is Cool Dude Clem and it seems that I'm speaking in the way I used to in my old YouTube videos I don't know why so I'll stop yeah, this is Cool Dude Clem here, and it appears that my computer is no longer adequate to play YouTube videos. Every video I play, this happens. So I've got a video up here. Try and hold the camera as steady as possible. What is First, it looks like it's alright. And, uh, really and the frame rate drops, and it just completely stops. You see that? Because this script actually is in regards to I'll spin it on a little bit. And you'll see the same thing happens. Plays fine Something at first, then the frame rate drops, run. and it this stops. Really should help you, you know, sleep a little better at night. Um, so see? that being said, I'm going to get through the script. It's just completely frozen uh, up again. This is rough script. Let's try this with another video. So, start playing a video. When one of the biggest challenges that starts out all right. Overcome, was the limitations of the hardware. And then it freezes. Yet many of them were able to overcome this and come up with some and spin it on a little bit. For like course, I say, every YouTube video is doing this. See, it starts playing all right, then it freezes. It appears that a Core i5 CPU with a 3.7 gigahertz boost and 8 gigabytes of RAM it is now no longer adequate to play YouTube videos. So now, the only way I can watch YouTube, well, my only current way of watching YouTube, is to download a video, watch it offline, and then come back and leave a comment, if I have one. So let's say I want to download another Christmas with Sonic. Well, I've got a little extension here that lets me do just that, so, we'll download it, we'll just do 720p for now. Now, I'm sure it's not my internet connection speed that's causing these problems, because look how fast it downloads. Help if I just point the camera at it. See? It only took a few seconds. And then I can watch that offline and leave a comment if I have one. Probably shouldn't be showing one that's just a slideshow, but you get the general idea. I'll try to find part that's actually got some motion in it. Okay, credits. But yeah, you can see that works. And then I can just leave a comment later on if I have one. Okay, I've got 350 quid to blow. So, I'm going to buy the pass to upgrade my PC. A lot of choice here. I'm not going to go absolutely balmy. This looks like a nice CPU. Am I pointing the camera at the right one? Where's my mouse pointer? Yep. Okay, we'll have one of those. Nice looking motherboard here. Seems to have all the features I want. Make sure it's an AM4 socket. Add to shopping cart. We'll get some memory. Now we need is a power supply. I know I've only given it 8 gigabytes, but that's enough to start off with and I can upgrade later on if I wish to. Yeah, I'm not going to get a cheap power supply. Because I've heard the stories that they blow up and destroy parts inside your computer. That's why when I upgraded my computer for the first time, I chose a reputable brand. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here as well. Yep, this is the one I'm going to get. It's gone down a little bit, too. 
at the shopping cart. Let's see what we got so far. 312. Hmm, can I squeeze an extra 8 gigs of RAM? Well, it's a little bit over, but I do have just a few extra pounds as well, so. Let's buy this stuff. Done. And now we wait. Of course, it's not just me, and it's not just you who's waiting. The computer's waiting too. Looking a little worse for wear, but... I guess, until the parts come, until next time, goodbye.